Hello everybody, wherever you are, hope you are fine, happy and safe. This is Imam Saktiwi, a teacher of English. Today's lessons are devoted to students who are using the textbook al Masa Window on the World. Today's unit is Arts and Education. We will start with Functions and Writing. Let's get started. Our functions lesson today is asking for and giving permission. We will learn some models and expressions we use to give permission and either accept permission or refuse permission. Let's read the following dialogue. Noor, please ma'am, can I use the computer? Her mother no, dear, you can't. It's time to go to bed. Nor, may I read a story before I sleep? Her mother, sure, but try to sleep early. Nor, thanks a lot, mommy. Yeah. So, as you see from this uh, short dialogue, there are some expressions to ask for uh, permission. Mainly we have, can I and... May I? In the first situation, the mother refused Noor's permission by using the expression No, you can't. Whereas in the second situation, the mother accepted Noor's, with, sorry, accepted Noor's permission by saying Sure. Is it clear? Now, let's learn more expressions of asking for permission, giving permission, and refusing permission. For example, asking for permission. Can I use your phone, please? Second one. Please, can I have a look at your photo album? And the third one. May I open the window? To give the permission, you can say, Yes, please do. Sure, go ahead. Or, sure, then you can say, no problem. By refusing the permission, you can use the following expressions. I'm sorry, but. Or, that's not possible. Or, no, please don't. The last one is, please feel free. Please try to read these expressions because we need them to be used in the next activity. So let's practice what we have learned so far. Our activity is the following. Complete the following sentences using expressions of permission. The ones we have already learned. We have four examples. Number one, I have the last piece of cake. And it's question, as you see here. We take these empty seats. I use your mobile phone. And the last one. I borrow your pen for a moment. Okay? Please take your time. And we will go back to the correction. Shall we start the correction? Okay. Of course, there isn't only one possibility. For each sentence, there are different possibilities. So, you can be selective. For example, number one. Yes. Can. So, can I have the last piece of cake? As an example. Number two. Yes. Correct. Let's say. Can we take these empty seats? Can we take these empty seats? Number three. We may use may. May I use your mobile phone? Can I use your mobile phone? And the last one. We can use can I borrow? Can I borrow your pen for a moment? Please. Why please? Because you're asking for permission. Here, 
we must be uh, polite. So, that's enough for our functions lesson. Now, let's move on to our next uh, writing lesson. Okay? Are you ready? Let's get started. Today's writing is very easy. What are we going to do? We're going to unscramble the following sentences to write a short autobiography about Charles Spencer Chaplin. Please, Charles Spencer Chaplin autobiography is only an example. The objective is to give you tools and to teach you some skills that you will use to write a short autobiography about a famous person or your favorite celebrity. Okay? Number one, Charles Spencer Chaplin was an English comedian, director and composer during the first film period. Silent period, sorry. During the first, uh, during the silent film period. At age 14, Chaplin had a small role in the movie Sherlock Holmes. He played the role in about a dozen of short films and some other productions. Next, his two final productions were in London. In 1972, Chaplin won a honorary Oscar. Then, in 1999, the American Film Institute named Chaplin the 10th greatest male screen legend of all time. Next, Charlie wrote, produced and composed the music of nearly all his films. Then, the first he first traveled in the U.S. in 1910 and worked in the Keystone Film Company. The last sentence is, Chaplin was born in 1889 in London, England. Dear students, before you start and scrambling or putting the sentences in order, it is very important to bear in mind and to pay attention to two important points that will be very helpful for you. The first one is capitalization and punctuation. For example, as you will see here, we have in all the sentences we have capital letters. Why? Because each sentence started in a full stop. But you should start with the, the priorities. And these priorities can be clear and can be understood, for example, from the age. Here we have 1972 and we have 1999. So please try to go by order through time, okay? All these can be uh, very uh, helpful. You see here, for example, 1910. So which one is first, which one is second, which one is third? These skills can be uh, very helpful. Uh, so take your time and I will come back to you soon. Are you ready? Let's have the correction. Charles Spencer Chaplin was an English comedian, director and composer during the silent film period. Chaplin was born in 1889 in London, England. At age 14, Chaplin had a small role in the movie Sherlock Holmes. He first traveled in the U.S. in 1910 and worked in the Keystone Film Company. 
He played the role in about a dozen of short films and some other productions. His two final productions were in London. In 1972, Chaplin won an honorary Oscar. Charlie Rhodes produced and composed the music of early all his films. In 1999, the American Film Institute named Chaplin the 10th greatest male screen legend of all time. I think now it's um, very clear. Your tasks and your second task is the following, please. Take a piece of paper and write a similar paragraph about a famous person of your choice. This is the production. You're just going to follow our previous example about uh, Spencer Chaplin and you write your own piece of writing. Write an autobiography. Sorry, you write an autobiography about uh, your famous person. Take any person you want uh, and you write uh, about his or her uh, autobiography. Thank you very much for your attention. Stay at home, stay safe. See you on another video and another lesson. Goodbye!